Hello everyone, and welcome to the terrified face of Bottas. Because it is raining for qualifying here in Malaysia for round two of my... <laughs> Grosjean's clearly quite confident, but anyway, yes, welcome to episode two of my career series. It is Malaysia, and it is typically tipping it down for qualifying here. So the full wet tyres are going to be required. Let's see how we get on. As it turns out, barring a bit of a moment in the final sector when I ran a little wide, it was a fairly solid qualifying lap, and I've bagged once again P6 for the Grand Prix tomorrow. But I do not want to get too excited too early because we know what happened last time. It's an absolutely sterling result at the start of the season. Maldonado's thrill. Welcome to the Sepang International Circuit. Thank you, David. It is race day for round two of my career here in Malaysia, and it is dry. It is, it is actually dry. Most of this career, uh, well, pretty much all this career, apart from qualifying in Australia, has been in the rain so far, but it is dry today. Although, uh, you have to be honest, it is looking a bit dreary. I think dreary is the word I'd use to describe the current weather conditions. But the strategists have run the numbers, and they're pretty confident it's going to be a one-stop strategy. Options onto primes at about lap seven. Um, so they're not anticipating rain, but we will see how we get on. We are ready to go then from P6 on the grid here in Malaysia. We are away now then with Hamilton leading everyone towards turn one. Bottas looks to have got a very good getaway and is creeping up the inside of Vettel and Raikkonen. And those three are, well, three abreast as we go towards turn one. No one's overtaken me so far, which is a win. But uh, Bottas has gained on Raikkonen and Vettel and I'm now sneaking up the inside of Raikkonen. That would be phenomenal if I could get past. Yes, I have done it. That's into P5 on the exit of turn two. But astoundingly, Bottas has gained two positions there. The Ferrari's just got absolutely minced by him and even I managed to get past Raikkonen and I could well get past Vettel here I'm absolutely well my front wing was basically inside his gearbox there on the exit of turn four but I'm definitely struggling for traction on the exit of corners and well general cornering ability looking at those two that I've just gone through and uh, and I'll be doing well to hold on to P5 for long here right then yeah I'm living a charmed life here in p5 these cars are way out of my league and uh, I'm predicting Raikkonen is gonna get past me on this back straight here he's dead look at him he's just sat in my slipstream like a python waiting to strike and I'm just a sitting duck here he's cruising down my inside I don't know how the game expects me to finish finish p3 because these cars are way out of my league and there he goes and uh, I've just got a message off of Black Poo 11. Black Poo 11. Moving on to lap five, and we do have a bit of an issue here. I am starting to notice spots of rain on the lens and on the front of the car there, and this could be potentially problematic. Uh, the strategists must have run the numbers wrong because it looks like rain is on the way. How heavy and how prolonged it will be is another matter, but at the moment we have a little bit of rain, and in the meantime, Bottas has actually been overtaken by the two Ferraris now, so he's in, he's in P. What's that? P5, and uh, and he could well be taken here. If I uh, get my act together, I might be able to catch him up and uh, get past. The good news is that I am really drawing Bottas in now. It looks like I am the fastest car on the track apart from the two Ferraris and the two Mercedes. So I'm, so I'm not the fastest car on the track. But I am, apart from those two constructors, and I'm all over the back of Bottas now, but the bad news is that the rain is carrying on. And I am being called into the pits this lap, but I am not going to go in. I cannot go in because the intermediates could be only a few laps away so I do not want to be going onto the soft tyre but I do want to be overtaking Bottas very shortly so I've got the DRS open now I'm going to pull to the inside and I've got way more straight line speed with the DRS open down the inside I go that's P5 th thank you very much and this I think realistically is the highest position I can finish this race so it is it could well now just be a case of holding on but this 
this rain is going to cause some real drama here. And Bottas is going to cause some real drama because he's launching it down my inside into turn one. Well, I wasn't expecting that. And, uh, and he's well taken that position from me. I think the two Mercedes must have picked because it's now a battle for P4 and P3. And he takes P3. And I'm now shifted down into P4. The Mercedes are pitted. That's an audacious call from them. Because you've got to say it's too early, really, to be going on to the intermediate tyre. So I can only assume they're, gonna, they're gambling on, on the rain stopping, which is a, it's a bold move. And based on, based on recent Mercedes strategic success, you have to say very questionable. But credit to them for sticking to their guns and going for it. And now I'm going for it down the inside of Bottas into turn seven. Following on through turn eight, I've squeezed him out there. I've given it, oh no, I haven't squeezed him out at all. He's just found room where there appeared not to be and uh, has held position. That was unfortunate, although it wasn't really an overtaking point, so it would have been quite a move if I had pulled that one off. But we are approaching the back straight here with DRS, so I might be able to get past there, but you see, do I pit? The, my, my team want me to come into the pits and go onto the soft tyre, but I'm holding out because the rain could continue. Uh, so it's a, it's a really tough call, this one. I think I'm just going to follow Bottas. The, it's too early for Inters, so if Bottas goes in, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be onto the soft tyre and I'll follow him. If I just mirror Bottas and perhaps the Ferraris, I can't really go wrong. So, yeah, if Bottas goes in here, I'm going to follow him. I'm going to follow him if he goes. If he doesn't, I'm going to carry on. He's going in. And the Ferraris have gone in, so I'm going to... Yeah, we're all going onto the softs. I assume we're all going onto the softs because the track is in... The track's in no shape for Inters now. Surely it's too early. Most of the track's dry, and it's going to be a bit of a pit lane race here, so this could get quite exciting. I hope my pit crew are on the ball, but Ferrari's pit crew aren't at all because... Both drivers have gone in, so Raikkonen's going to have lost a load of time there waiting for Vettel to finish pitting. And I've, and I've probably gained a free position out of that. Unless they've put them both on the intermediate tyre. That would be <laughs> quite a kick to the dick for me if they have. Surely not. Oh no. Uh, oh no, please don't tell me they've all gone on to intermediate tyres. Look at the state of the weather, I should have gone on to intermediate tyres. I didn't have the balls, I didn't have the balls and it's backfired. Although, saying that, my team didn't have the balls either because at no point did my engineer come on the radio and be like, oh yeah, intermediates now, intermediates. They've just brought me in, thrown me out on the softs and, and I'm right in it now because... I'm going to have to pit again if the rain doesn't... The rain literally has to stop right now or I'm in big trouble. Big trouble. And also, rather alarmingly, is that I'm still in P3. Which must mean that the Mercedes ha have pitted again. So they they went onto the softs and then they pitted again onto the intermediates. And I've just gone onto the softs. Oh, <laughs> oh my word. I'm going to... I'm going to vomit everywhere all over the screen because of how ang I've thrown it away again. <laughs> I've, I've literally, right, two races and I've, I've bottled it twice like, like it's a fruit shoot or something. I mean, look, Raikkonen, I'm just an absolute sitting duck. I'm like a swan in water just waiting to be, t I bet you he's going to come s screaming past on my inside down this back straight and, and, he, and you're going to see a little green tyre, I guarantee it, just watch this, there's no, he must be on, he's so much faster than me and he is on the intermediate tyre, it's just a write off this Grand Prix <laughs> it's frankly laughable I'm going to stay out for another lap because I've got to well, I've thrown it away so I might as well hope that the rain stops and, uh, and I actually gain some time Onto the intermediate tyres I finally go, and if you look into the bottom left, you can see there are five cars in the points just going past me now that I'm going to come out not too far behind. Now with four laps to go on the right tyre, we know I'm one of the fastest cars in the race. Let's go get some points. Ericsson is the first car that's going to be falling victim to my unbelievable pace here. P12, he's in P11, down the inside I go, and thank you very much Mr. Sauber Driver. That'll do nicely. Next up, Alonso and everyone else, and they are all in the points.
I am really showing my true pace now. We have just under two laps to go, and I am really catching up with Alonso and all the rest of them. Kvyat just ahead of him. There is a huge train, and it's just a case of how many can I get past before the end of the Grand Prix. And, oh, dear, they've all started going really slow. What on earth's happening here? They're all just easy pickings around the outside. Oh, my word, Vettel's in the way now, and there's just a big pile up there. I've been smashed completely from the side. There's just a huge horde of cars in the middle of Turn 5. And it all just got a bit ridiculous there. I'm not really sure how to how to explain what we've just seen. I mean, it, it was ludicrous. But it's got me to P8. And, I mean, Kvyat in P7 just ahead is realistically the only one I could catch up with. But I've done extremely well to get away from there with no damage. So the hunt is on now for Kvyat after that sensational level of drama in the penultimate lap here in Malaysia that I'm, I'm going to have to investigate after the race because I'm really not sure what went on. On to the back straight for the final time then and I have caught up with Kvyat. It's going to have to be a last corner bonsai move if I'm going to get past him here. We are going to pull to the outside. Bottas has won the race. I'm not sure how that happened but round the outside I go. I have got some clear daylight between me and him now as you can see in the bottom left hand mirror. And it is going to be a P7 finish after that sensational overtake. But let's, let's please investigate that drama. Because I am really, really not sure what happened. So after a bit of digging, I can explain the circumstances. It's Vettel who gets a puncture on the final corner of lap 13, as you can see there. He opts for whatever reason not to go into the pits and embark on an entire lap with a punctured tyre. Meanwhile, Bottas and Raikkonen are side by side in the final corner. They see Vettel and both seem to just plough into him. Bottas gets stuck and then he goes on to claim victory. Then Raikkonen gets stuck for a bit longer and then eventually pulls to the right and gets away. So that's how Bottas won the race because he got a big enough lead ahead of Raikkonen. Vettel, meanwhile, embarks on an entire lap with this punctured tyre. You can see the big chain of cars that I come up behind eventually meet Vettel now. They all start going at about two miles an hour. I arrive on the scene and just cause complete chaos. I mean, madness is just unfolding here. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> and, uh, and... <laughs> And I eventually come home in P7. So there are the driver's standings. I am P10 with a season target of being sick or higher. So we do have work to do going into China. But I hope you enjoyed that hugely dramatic race. Thank you all very much. And goodbye. <laughs>